Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, then welcome. In today's video, we are going to be talking about seven places around the house that you're probably forgetting to clean. I know we all have our cleaning routines and we sort of just tick stuff off the list and get it done. However, I think a lot of us are forgetting to take a look around and seeing if we missed anything. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the first place. So the first place that I think a lot of people are forgetting to clean is the side of the bathtub. If you have a washroom layout like mine, you'll notice that the toilet is very close to the bathtub and I think the majority of us just clean the inside of our bathtub and the tile, but not a lot of us actually wipe down the outside of our bathtub. And I don't know if you guys have seen those blacklight videos on TikTok, but I think things get everywhere in washrooms without us even realizing it. So I just took some scrubbing bubbles and wiped down the outside of my bathtub with a microfiber cloth. Moving on to the next item, it's the overhood fan in the kitchen. So as you can see, ours is built into the bottom of our microwave and those are the filters that are used when the fan is on. They're nice and brown, so I just went ahead and removed them and I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how you can wash these. So we're gonna take them over to the sink and fill a large bowl with hot water. Then we are going to cover our filters in dishwashing detergent that has some sort of grease fighting property. So I have this Dawn Power Wash, so I thought it would be perfect. But if you don't, you can just put some liquid dishwashing detergent on the filters. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle some baking soda over the filters. If you don't have baking soda, don't worry about the step. It'll still work with just the dishwashing detergent, um, but you'll just need a little more elbow grease towards the end. So after you're done sprinkling on the baking soda, go ahead and submerge your filter into the hot water. Make sure that the entire filter is submerged so that it soaks properly. While we're waiting for that to soak, I would recommend just wiping down the underside of your hood fan because there's usually lots of food and grease that are just stuck on there. As you can see, I had a lot of stuff stuck under mine and because my camera was sort of in the way, I don't actually think I ended up scrubbing it as nicely as I would have hoped, but I went back in after I was done filming. Okay, so now that these have soaked for about five minutes, you can go ahead and remove them, but make sure you don't rinse them right away. What I actually do is I use a dish brush and I actually scrub them before I rinse them. So because we sprinkled the baking soda on, it should be a little bit easier to just scrub off the grease. Um, but if you didn't put baking soda on, you may have to take some more time on the step with the brush. And there you have it. They look brand new and they're nice and silver again. So you can wait for these to air dry or dry them with a towel and then pop them back in. Look at all the nasty water from soaking those filters. All that stuff was stuck in there. So there you have it. That is how you clean the filters in your overhood fan. Moving on to the next area in the house, we're going to talk about the dishwasher. So I know it doesn't make sense to clean something that cleans your dishes because you would think it would stay clean, but that is not the case. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the filter. As you can see, my filter has some dirt and probably food debris stuck on it. So we're going to go ahead and take this over to the sink. And the first thing I'm going to do is just run hot water over it just to break down any of the food that's stuck on there and to get rid of the bigger pieces of food or debris that are stuck. So that's what the water did. So we're going to go ahead and add soap now. So I'm just going to pump some dishwashing detergent on this brush and go ahead and give each filter surrounding a scrub and once I'm done doing the outside and the inside, then I'm going to go ahead and rinse again with hot water and this should get rid of pretty much everything that was stuck on your filter. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. I'm going to go ahead and let that air dry and in the meantime, I'm going to run a cycle in my dishwasher with a cup of vinegar on the top rack. 
putting vinegar in there will help to break down any of the leftover food or caked on grease that is inside the actual dishwasher or on the racks. Um, I have a setting on my dishwasher that says Sani Rinse, so I'm assuming it's um, kind of like a sanitization process that it goes through with a high heat setting. So I went ahead and ran that with the cup of vinegar in the bottom and my dishwasher was sparkling at the end. I think this is probably something that a lot of us should do more often than we actually do. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to the next item. So the next item is a laundry basket. For the longest time, I never used to wipe down my laundry baskets. I just never thought about it, but if you really think about it, you're piling dirty clothes in there and then when they're done, you're putting clean clothes in the same basket and I just feel like it makes sense to give it a good wipe. So while my clothes are actually in the washing machine or the dryer, I just wipe down my laundry basket with a Lysol wipe and then that way I know that my clean clothes are going into a clean basket. Next, I'm going to tackle the shoe rack. I think this is a place that a lot of people forget to clean, especially if it's a closed shoe rack like ours is. Um, so the first thing I do is I just vacuum anything that's left in the bottom. Sometimes there's leaves in there or dirt. So I get that all out of the way before going in with my Lysol wipe and just wiping everything down. Lysol wipe is really great at getting rid of scuff marks and dirt that is left behind in my shoe rack. And then the last thing that I like to do once I'm done wiping everything down with the Lysol wipe is actually to put bounce dryer sheets in there. So I just pull out two bounce dryer sheets and I put them at the bottom of our shoe rack and this keeps it smelling really nice too um, especially because it's closed it doesn't get a lot of airflow so this is a great hack for any of you that have this shoe rack from Ikea or a similar one. Next we're talking about the TV remote. This is probably one of the things that never used to get cleaned in my house, but it's just something that gets touched so much throughout the day and our hands are not always clean and I think it's just a breeding ground for bacteria. So I just take a Lysol wipe and will occasionally wipe down our remote every few weeks just to make sure that it's not getting too dirty. So I do the front and then I also just flip it over and do the back as well. Sometimes if our remote is really dirty, I will just go in circular motions around the buttons with the microfiber cloth and that should get anything that's stuck between the buttons. So the next thing we're moving on to is baseboards. I had a lot of you guys on my poll on my Insta stories say that you always forget to clean these. I use a Swiffer feather duster, but don't wipe it like this. Instead, twist it horizontal and apply pressure to the top of your baseboard because that's where all the dust collects. And as you can see, the Swiffer duster picked up a bunch of that dust just on the end there. I like to use the Swiffer extender because then I don't have to get down on the floor to clean my baseboards. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something from this video and if you did, then give it a thumbs up. If there's something in this video that I mentioned that you have forgotten to clean, please comment down below and let me know what it is. Also, if you think there's something I forgot to mention in this video, please comment that down below as well and maybe I will do a part two. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!